that's nasty. Look at that. It looks like peanut butter. All right, good morning, guys. Uh, today on Cars and Cameras, we had some projects get flooded due to a surprise tropical storm. We woke up thinking we were gonna run a mini bike, and then Ike hopped in the shower and came out, and there was water in his house. In the yard. In the yard, and then 10 minutes later, it was in your house. Pretty much, yeah. So, he brought us some stuff we're gonna work on to get it unflooded. <laughs> it's a throwback, guys. It's a classic, the first ever big build at the new place we've been working at. The BMW 1000 trophy cart. Flooded. Yikes. Flooded. Uh, when I left it, uh, it was uh, up to here. Oh no. Yeah. Right up to the W? I think they're usually good up to the BM, but I don't know about the W. Yeah. In fact, it was leaking water out of the exhaust on the trailer. Yikes. Yeah. All right. Well, it's a good excuse to get this thing running again and you know, we'll have some just, fun with it. We'll take the tractor and stand it up, drain it out like I did my four-wheeler when I sunk it, and then we'll take the plugs out, and <laughs> good to go. Don't worry about it. There we go. I like good the sound time. of that. But it is a BMW, so it's going to lose a wallet because it's going to break it. They don't just let anybody run it in first gear. That's first gear. I don't. Second third well we don't have high gear but that's okay so the well, deer got flooded too huh probably has a roll yeah unfortunately i think this got this was underwater what two feet uh uh i don't let's know check how the oil under. here let's see oh well it didn't go that deep so we're good uh it appears to have holes in all four tires well three at least yeah. All oh, right. Well. Oh, I saw this on a reel last night. I wonder if it works for the lawn tractors. The one series frame, 12 horsepower. I think that's what that means. Oh, okay. The numbers on the John Deere. Let us know in the comments if that's right. Is that a Kohler? Yeah. yeah. That's the same engine that was on the uh, King Midget. Yep. You can tell it's a good weld by the fact that they welded in solid and the wheel barely turns. Good gracious. I have to get the wire wheel on that and do some investigation. It's like <laughs> weld on weld on weld on weld. But instead of stacking quarters, they stack rocks. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's the thumbnail right there, John. <laughs> Y'all remember the series that I did where I inherited a bunch of stuff? Yep. How could we forget? This is a inherited mower. We hadn't planned on doing anything with this mower, but if you guys want to see us build something with it, leave a thumbs up on this video. Let us know down in the comments what you want to see. I would feel bad modifying it, dude. It is. That is a piece of history. I think it's from the 60s. Uh, what is it? International Harvester? Because if we put a 350 in it, we'd call it the Irrational Harvester. I didn't come up with that. I saw that in Texas. It was really cool. It's crazy how much metal is in these old things. I mean, look, that's 3 sixteenths, if not quarter. It's definitely quarter. Wild. This is nice. This one's Beautiful actually got metal a metal fuel tank. This has actually got a starter on it. Wow. Because you remember how the, the King Midget used the generator to start it? Oh dear. Oh. Not bad. You reckon this battery will hold a charge? <laughs> Trophy cart time. 
the main event. So the steering is pretty much locked up. Uh, you wouldn't be able to drive it uh, regular, so we're going to have to... I know that the steering components went underwater, and that was some salt water, so I think we're going to have to... Do Lubricate something. everything. Yeah. Probably more than what I'm doing, but at least this isn't going to hurt. This was our first build we ever did uh, at the new headquarters here, and this was kind of the peak grab cheap stuff and put it together and have fun. The engine is out of a BMW K100. It is a thousand cc's. It's an inline four leaned over 90 degrees, and it makes about 90 horsepower. And you bought the bike for $200. Something like that. The shocks are helper springs for a pickup truck. So they are not tunable. They are cheap. I think we have a total of $200 in the shocks. I thought it was 100 A 100 bucks for all four? All four. It was cheap. Yeah. And the rear end is out of a Chevy Chevette that we got for free. This was a learning experience in that we learned that if you build something out of the cheapest parts you can get your hands out of with the idea that it's easy to use, easy to get in and out of, it's not going to look good. What are you talking about? It's beautiful. It's got a face only a mother could love. And Ike is the mother. Father. <laughs> You're the mother. So that being said, we've still had a lot of fun with the trophy cart, and we're not done yet. It may have gone underwater the other day, but this is just an excuse for us to drain the water out, put fresh fluids in it, and go have some more fun with it. So if you're happy the trophy cart's back, leave a thumbs up on this video. Now let's get to work. Here's another prime example of if you just grab random parts that were never designed to work together and don't have a plan and just say, hey, let's build something. It works. Your steering rod it works. goes through the air intake and yikes. It works. It does work. All right, let's get to work. Let's stop looking at it and get to work. It's making me self-conscious. So this is where I guess, yeah, all the spark plugs are. This is, I guess, where the water went up and then went back down and all the, like, that's all the material out of Ike's yard. Oh, man. All right, well, I'll get the shop vac or the air hose and blow all that crap out. That stuff right there isn't on top of the engine, so maybe the water didn't go any higher than this. That well, would be nice. I don't know how high it went. You, well, you were there. It, even if it went to that point. It's still bad. Yeah, because look at where the exhaust is at. Yep, and the transmission. The exhaust. Don't even know where the vent. I don't even bottom. know where the vent for the transmission is. Oh boy. Probably not very high. Yeah. Oh man, the exhaust is. Yikes. Yeah, those are Mazda Miata hubs, a Honda Civic master cylinder because it was 20 bucks at the auto parts store. Yeah. Cheap, 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 buddy. Chevy Chevette rear end. It's the Johnny Cash buggy. BMW. Uh, four wheeler rims. I think, yeah, they were like side by side rims from the subscriber, weren't they? Or did y'all find them used? I, I can't remember where they came uh, from. They were freebies. Mm. Oh. Is it wet? Yeah. I mean, that exhaust is still dripping. Yeah. Okay. That's not good. We'll just uh, take them all out and yep. then we'll spray some uh, PB Blaster in there. I'm still not really sure how the steering works. Ah, <laughs> uh, well. I mean, it's, yeah, it 
works though. Somehow. The spark plug is not fuel. Can you hand me that nut? Oh. So, Charles, you grew up with a lot of hurricanes. Did you find yourself having to do this to all your dad's equipment when you were a kid? Mm-mm. Um, because our, our yard never really flooded too bad. But I just remember a lot of people, like, I went to school with kids that grew up below sea level and at sea level. And uh, I remember one kid in my in our mechanics class, Stacy, he said he couldn't get his go-kart. Like, the go-kart was not going in the garage because more important things were in there. He just took the air cleaner off and filled the carburetor full of oil and then just put it back together. And he said once he drained that out and put gas in it, it ran just fine. So that was his preparation for it. But yeah, just get it high or plug it up. I mean, yeah, you, if you have to, if you know it's going underwater, take spark plug out, fill it full of oil, put spark plug back in. I mean, better it's, than you, nothing. it's better than nothing. You know it's going under. But uh, yeah, I mean, a lot of times, I mean, people's boats would sink. And I mean, this is the same same process. You don't want to try and crank it over with any moisture in there because. As you guys know, water doesn't compress, so it'll it'll bend valves, or well, no, it won't bend valves. Bend it'll, bend, it'll, it'll bend connecting rods, or you know, I guess if it caused a bent valve, it'd be because the valve was stuck down because of the rust. Oh God, that looks. Now the water's going to be at the end. No, usually the water's first. Oh. All right, well then we're good. Didn't see any water. I don't know how. Considering the spark plugs were wet. Yeah. Do we need to make it level so if there's any water in there it can... Yeah, we might need to. I can lower it down for a minute. That's up to you. Well, the log splitter didn't have any water in it, but the... It was hydrolocked. I couldn't turn it over. I had to like force it to finally turn over. So it got in the cylinders but not in the bottom but end. But not in the bottom end. Um, good rings. Yeah, I think the uh, maybe the oil kept the water from going past the rings. I th and the generator had the tiniest bit Wait, of the water. Wait, the generator went underwater? Yeah. The yellow one? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That one's like our best one for mini mayhem. Yeah. Is it still okay? Or oh, yeah. I, I, I serviced it. All right, well, good. Good, and, good uh, job. And I blew it out. I washed it out, and I even uh, sprayed... Uh, like WD-40 in the windings in, into the windings okay. while it was running. Ooh, all right. Go right. oh, on down. You're still good. Don't worry. I'm moving it. All right. No water. Uh -oh. That's a good sign. It's a, it's looking pretty good. I guarantee you that rear end is going to be slammed full of water. Oh. Yeah, because the vent is like it's right, right on, on top. top. Yeah, darn it. Oh, that's nasty. Look at that. It looks like peanut butter. Oh, really? Yeah, that is nasty. So we're thinking, well, I guess the way science works is water's on the bottom and oil's on the top, but it looks like it mixed. I'll start taking the, uh, the diff cover bolts out. I don't think we're gonna find a Chevette uh, pumpkin gasket, do you? You wanna just make one out of RTV? Uh. Oh dear. Just straight water coming out. There's so much paint on these bolts, guys. <laughs> They're getting stuck in my socket. It's all that splatter paint. Still water. Yeah. Hold on. Oh, socket swimming pool. Oh no, what happened? Be on a shirt. Yeah, it went in the peanut butter. Ew. 
<laughs> well, gotta, gotta keep going. So that's how much water we're working with in this thing. Wow, it's pro there's probably more. Well, I guarantee you there's more. Yeah. <laughs> that was gross. Let's see if you could see. Oh, yep, yeah, so it was like there was the normal line and then the water line. Ooh, I got the poopy on me. And the magnet doesn't seem too, f oh, it's fuzzy, Never mind. But it's not chunky. There's no big metal pieces in it, so. Is this, is this about the time we need to, uh. Oh my the, uh, gosh, look at that. Break out the, uh, Lincoln whatever. The, oh, and, the, the, oh the Lincoln yeah. Lincoln locker, Lincoln locker. Yeah, maybe we should lock this thing, dude. It'll make it a pain to turn. Oh, well. Yeah, I like the design of the, uh, the pan. Because yep. this is for oiling. It directs the oil to the uh, bearings. Yeah. Yep. So when the ring gear slings it up, it hits here and then trickles so downhill. Full trough. Yep. And goes whoop. How'd that go? Whoop. Oh, God. Okay. So... Just to, just to be on the safe side, we're going to pull all the fluid out of the master cylinder because I don't. the water would have stayed on top and uh, we haven't been pumping on the brakes or anything. So we're just going to pull all the fluid out and replace it. The proper way would be to bleed the brakes, but we're just going to do that if we have a problem. Oh man, my brakes don't work. Quick, let's bleed the brakes before we hit the before tree. Before we hit the tree. Exactly. Can I drop her? Yeah. He said to drop it. Yeah, I, it just went lower than I thought. So uh, apparently this thing holds four quarts of oil. And it takes Rotella 1540. Who knew? Yeah. There you go. Here we go. Dragon. The fan works. Yeah. yeah. Hey. I saw something coming out. Not much. I heard a little. Yeah, we had a little on the ground right here, but uh, all right, better than that. All right, but the, you know, the spark plugs were wet. I'm I'm guessing that the water level got high enough, it covered the engine, but it didn't go inside. However, I think water came up through the exhaust system, and since we had it jacked up, it ran right back out. It, well, when the water went down, whatever water went in there found its way back out, except we had a little bit left behind because we had water on the spark plugs so those, those bavarians just think of everything yeah and and you know whatever's in the cylinder will eventually go by the uh rings anyways so if you wait long enough the engine's going to be uh pretty empty and it's been how many days mm, three three days yeah I think I'm hearing the the fuel pump. The fuel pump. Oh. I think we got a dead fuel pump. Uh, Nothing. We got a dead fuel pump. Well, the water didn't go that high. So, do you want to check the wiring? Like, is it this be. is that power? Yeah, there's power. I'm gonna get a test light. Let's see. We got no power. Hold on. Let me hit this. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Okay. Huh. It just it's not cycling unless you hit the key. We're gonna need a battery charger. Okay. It's dropping down to seven volts, which means the computer's not gonna have to. Yeah.
drink bottle and I'm gonna see if we got any fuel flow out of that line. That's basically the fuel into the rail. Yes. So it should be pressurized when you cycle the key. When I cycle the key, it should... You might have to hit the button, the green button. Oh, wow. Look at that. Wow, that was good. That was good flow. Yeah. Okay. All right. So now what? Now we got to listen to the injectors and see if they're... Uh, Stuck. Injecting. You ready? Yep. Cranking. Half a squish on half the button. Can per hour. What Ike's doing is he's got his hand in the air box and he's like manually messing with the air airflow sensor, not mass airflow sensor. And he's tricking the door, and then he's spraying starting fluid right into the uh, the right into the intake. So I guess the injectors are still stuck or something because he's adding. Yeah, when he cuts the starter fluid, I don't think. Hey! Oh my god. Or what? So do you think we flooded this thing? That seems like gasoline. Well, why don't you lick it? There you go, buddy. That's starting fluid. That's a lot of starting fluid. Yeah, and a little bit of gas, but that's that's pretty bad. Um, I had to break out the wiring diagram and uh, start to try to figure out what's going on here. And I figured I'd keep it uh, simple first. Uh, so I did go to the store and I bought me what's called a Noid light. What it is is it's a uh, light that goes in line of your uh, uh, injector your in injector line and it's going to let you know if you got injector pulse so we're going to turn on the key and we're going to hit the starter button <laughs> it was there and it went away was it supposed to stay on or was it supposed to just it's supposed to blink okay two pins on this and it's a little little light bulb and it's computer friendly because we don't want to blow up the computer here so what you do is you unplug the original connector from the injector and you plug this up where the injector goes. And when you turn on the key, you don't normally get a light, but when you hit the starter button, you should have a nice, even, steady pulse of light here. So key on, starting. See, that's what, and then it goes away. And then, and then it tries to start because it... I'm wondering if we have it... Do we have enough Noid lights to plug into all the injectors? No. See, that'd be, that'd be interesting because it seems like, you know how it's like going and coming on that one. I wonder if it's doing the same thing on, on another one. On all of them. Yeah. Yes. And this is not coolant. This is Gatorade. I'm, don't worry. Uh, I'm just going to go through one thing at a time. I'm going to clean the, the uh, fuses where they plug in because they're they're pretty dirty. I'm gonna 
Plug wonder, them in and out several times to get a good contact. I wonder why it's dirty. Oh, because <laughs> normally BMWs don't go in the mud. Alright guys, so I'm a little afraid that the computer might have gone underwater. It's not your fault, so, man. Yeah. So the water line was probably around here. Which if you go back It, here's the computer and it looks like here's the computer right here and it looks like it might have gotten around this area here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this connector and I'm gonna look for water in the plug if we have water in the plug I might as well just give up and what do we have well it looks dry it looks fine so I'm going to just try to have good thoughts here and uh, move on to something else. I don't know. Should I take the cover off the computer or not? I don't know. So we're going to just keep on running things down at this point. What I need to do is need to find where the water line is right here. Maybe that'll help out to let me know if this thing did indeed go underwater. Kind of looks like it did. Oh, yeah. Let me tell you. Oh, water running right out of it. Oh, man. Where's the computer? Yep, it's just water's running out of the computer. Uh, I'm not an expert, but I'm yeah. going to say it's bad. Uh, I'm going to yeah, say it's bad, that, too. All that came out of the computer. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to take a, since it's not going to hurt anything, Oh, it just took a big pee. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and open this thing up and see how bad it is. Pretty bad. moment of... Aren't you supposed to put it in rice? Dang it, Bobby. Hey, You're gonna need a lot of you, rice. Did you try turning it off and plugging it? Did you try it? unplugging it plugging it back in? Oh. Dude, that thing was a soaking, brother. Ah, uh, look at the corrosion. Yeah. Yeah, there's there's the water line right there. Because you, you can see above that, everything's fine. Everything below this, we got corrosion on the circuits. So this uh, computer is no good. I'm sorry, boys. Man, who designed it to have the computer dangling so low? All right, so okay. we're gonna test out. We're gonna test out the ignition uh, without the computer. All right, dude. Oh boy. Go for it. I'm gonna say. I think we can carburet it. I think we can carburet it. So you're saying that the ignition system is separate to com completely separate computer on this than thing. The, uh, than the the ignition. ignition. Than the uh, uh, fuel Spark. injection. So fuel so injection and ignition this, are separate. This is a fuel injection computer. Gotta love the 80s, brother. <laughs> yeah. And the other one is ignition computer. Alright. Uh, That's what I'm, you used to talk about working on them old Mercedes. They'd be like nine they'd computers. Have, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You want to make plans to carburetor? Four? Is this four carburetors? I say we maybe make plans to carburetor it. Just okay. Just yeah. does run better. Hey, the, but, the you steering know. won't be in the way of the intake, and the intake won't be in the way of the steering. Yeah. So we'll. Uh, so we're fixing. We're so fixing we'll it. Probably have better performance because of the uh, steering. Not see so that. So that was the performance issue right there. Definitely. Yeah. That was the whole issue. I gotta try this thing one more time. So the computer has uh, <clears throat> aired out for a day, and I coated it in WD-40, which, I don't know, might be a good thing, might be a bad thing. So I still have the little uh, Noid light hooked up. We're going to see what happens. It's winking. It's running. What?
I wouldn't trust this computer as far as I can throw it. Though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I'm going to put it back together and... Uh, it's enough to play around. Let's see if we can play this, play around with this thing. All right. So it could last four minutes. It could last forever but we're gonna try to ride the trophy cart while it still works we have the ECU mounted and you know what Ike is gonna hop on there and we haven't messed with the cars and cameras circle track all year so it could probably use a little bit of tilling up so we're gonna do that with the trophy cart ready bud Oh yeah. This thing is kind of rowdy. I forgot about it. And if that's Thing again. Yeah, me too. I like it again. <laughs> it's funny. I may not be able to drive it. But I like it. Oh. Nice. Right. Mr. Gear. So Ike's had it all of three minutes and he hadn't broke it yet. So we're doing good. Better than I remember it. I know we're look we're watching you do donuts and we're like, you know what? This isn't as bad as I remember. Hey, yeah. The, tra the track is back in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have a little bit of trouble uh, drifting it in this. It's a side downhill of the track. corner. Those are hard. Yeah. So this thing's pretty awesome, dude. Yeah, it is. It's a. Uh, it's really low. It looks very cushy. It is. The steering was our main complaint. You're just having to work that wheel like Gotta a Gotta work the wheel. Freaking um, galleon. <clears throat> I think it's a problem because the cart is so big and heavy. Yeah. And we've got that, trying to get that sweet spot of We the, really needed electric power steering. Dude, if we had electric power steering and we- oh, Hey, we need to get it off the dry grass. We're gonna catch this thing on fire. <laughs> We're gonna turn this thing into a burnt Ferrari. Really? Don't oh wait, it. maybe not. Oh, we're good. We're good. I'll okay. get it off of it. We're good. All right. Was... But if we get electric steering and tighten up the steering, Sorry, this right. thing will be perfect. Or we could do like a drip IV lubrication system on the on the knuckles. Well, uh, <laughs> you know, it's it's funny. We do have a power steering on this oh, already. Yeah. So oh, if yeah. we were to figure out a way to run a belt somehow to the engine or something. What if we just get electric? We can put like, a power yeah. steering pump and we can have power steering. Huh. Because cool. this is know what we could do? And uh, uh, we got a battery on here. If we just get a bigger battery, we can make a electric pump to pump oh, yeah, the, well, the steering box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be electric over hydraulic. Yeah. Try taking dirt off and throwing it in there. I don't know about this one, boys. 
I think it's gonna get stuck. If it's that sticky and it sinks, yeah. I don't know, man. If I get a little uh, speed going, I can go it might, through it. it. Might crash into the wall. Yeah, you're literally gonna, just gonna crash into that. That's a straight drop right there. Of, look. All right, we gotta fill that in. Well, it was a thought. I, I'll, I, I'll so, pull you, I'll how about how about just a hot lap? Okay. We'll just see if this thing still got it. Isn't this thing one of the fastest things on? Things number two. Number two. Let's see if she still got it. I like the sound of that. All right. What to do with the trophy cart. Oh, okay, that was easy. I used to warm up. Here we go. Should have stood there for a warm-up lap, dude. A minute flat. Okay. Like perfect, dude. Love it. There went the clutch. <laughs> oh, I smell it. It is like a rally car. Uh, this thing is like ice on the grass. Okay. So you should do a warm up lap and check, kind of feel it out. Yep. But I feel pretty good about my time. Sweet. And uh, dude, this thing is like, I forgot how cool it was. <laughs> I'm loving this thing. Good. good. Yeah. On your mark. Yep. Get set. Go. The yard dart. That is impressive. Lightweight, a lot of power, a lot of grip, good brakes. Not running right. It's awesome. Not running right. <laughs> Second place, we have the trophy cart. Third place, Yamaha Warrior 350. Uh, fourth place, the old 750 cross cart. So, Ike and the trophy cart, the post flood trophy cart. 
with a 1,000cc BMW K100 motor, ran a 54. Nice. 60. Nice. Yeah. So it's still in second place. Yeah, but you beat, somehow it went two seconds faster now than it did, I don't, two years ago. I Maybe mean, we need to flood everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 And uh, it just kind of shows that smoother is better. Yeah, it does. Because yeah. I was like trying to correct drifts, and then you'd have to give it like a whole turn of the wheel to correct it, and then yeah. you're tank slapping the other way, and then you yeah. stab the brakes, and nothing happens, and then the next time you stab the brakes, it locks up the tires. That's that's why I'm I'm just I'm good. But congrats, sir. Oh, thank you. That tracks very well with the fact that I'm faster if something is very well set up. Ike is faster if something is not set up. Right. So, if you want more Trophy Cart, leave a thumbs up. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Subscribe to Cars and Cameras if you're not already. Uh, we could make improvements to this thing with power steering, tightening up the steering ratio. I think we can maybe move the seating position a little bit and actually make it really, really good. Yeah. So, if you want to see that, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and leave a comment to let us know. Thanks again for watching, guys. Cars-cameras.com. Pick up some merchandise to support the channel. We'll see you next time. Thank you guys again for tuning into this episode. We just tested the Land Speed Bike 2.0 at the Washington Warren Airfield, and the results were surprising, to say the least. They're having a drone and air show out there October 13th and 14th, and Ike is going to be out there posted up with the Ducati, the Cozy Coupe, and a few other projects. So go out and visit him. I believe it's free admission again. He's going to be hanging out there with some projects. Go hang out. Go see some drones. Go see some cool planes at the Washington Warren Airfield. They help support us in uh, testing our bikes. So uh, go show up uh, for free and support Cars and Cameras, the Washington Warren Airfield, and get to meet and greet with Ike and see some really cool stuff. So thanks again for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. What? There's a, a mystery breed. You must have had a big storm like before you bought the property because there was probably a bridge right across there. Actually, I think that was over here at one time. Oh, okay. Well, I, think way, washed, I, mean, I think it was washed out, but it moved down. So. Didn't we, we have a, a wooden bridge like right here just kind of like that, just kind of plopped there at one time? I don't remember. It's been, it's, it's it's like been pretty a while. Interesting, but I, I don't, that would take all day, probably all three of us digging that thing out. <laughs> I don't know. Would you rather do that or take all three of us in one and day build building bridge. another bridge? Yeah.